Hidden inside this box is an invisible secret device that not only floors laymen, but it devastates magicians too. The best part is, when I show you the secret, you will swear it's alien technology and you'll have to scrape your jaw up off the floor. Keep watching to see the full tutorial. So for all of you that tuned in yesterday to the Seven Secrets live event by Murphy's Magic, you will have seen me share this and premiere this device for the very first time. For all of you that didn't tune in, I'm going to share it with you today on the channel. I will say that I'm extremely proud of this and the people that I shared it with begged me to release it as a product and I simply didn't want to. I wanted to share it all with you completely for free on my channel and on the Murphy's Magic Seven Secrets event. So for those of you that didn't tune in, here's the full uncut video from what I shared with everyone yesterday. And I'll just say that I love this so much. I don't particularly want to give away my device, but I am willing to do it. So if you want to win my own homemade personal device, then all you need to do is make sure you're subscribed to my channel and share this video link on social media. And I will pick one of you lucky people at random to win my very own personal device. So with that being said, let's just jump straight in to find out what this secret hidden and invisible device is. So super quickly, this is what I'm gonna share with you. I've developed a method, a really devious tool that allows you to get a peek and uh, conditions so fair and so clean that you might be burnt at the stake. You can get a spectator to write a word or draw a simple drawing on a playing card, on a business card, a note, a bill, it doesn't matter, anything you want. And with the deck inside the box, they can then place that card anywhere they like inside the deck, which is inside the box, which is then sealed. And the box can be shown all around 360 degrees. There's no sliding compartments or trap doors. Yet whenever you like, you can get a full peek of that information. It sounds too good to be true, and I've only shared this with three people so far. And each of their reactions was exactly the same. It was cuss words. So when you see the secret, which you're going to learn in about one minute's time, comment down below with as many cuss words as you like. This is how deceptive and clean this peek is. The spectator can take a card or a billet or a note or a bill, anything you like, and write a word or a simple drawing. So for the sake of being universal, I will do a simple drawing just like so. This. The pen is capped and placed away. All the while my back can be turned to the spectator. I then have them place that card into the box anywhere they like so without flashing it to me they place the card into the deck in any part of the deck they want which is inside the box which is then sealed you can see there's no trap doors or slits or anything sneaky no sneaky compartments and that's it i now have my peak and the way this works is just like You can see that they drew a house. So I'm going to teach you how to make your very own peak box right now. So the very first thing you need is to buy a privacy screen. Now I bought a privacy screen for a laptop, which I cut up to do plenty of different things with. But this is the remainder of it. I just bought a laptop sized piece of privacy screen that allows me to cut it up. And this is one that works angular. So when it's direct like this you can see through when you tilt at an angle it becomes black okay so you're going to get yourself one of these the link that i bought for mine is on screen next you're going to get yourself some black cherries and what i've done if you can see is i have cut out the black section of the center of the box with the lid with the flap on the same side as the cutout okay i also kept the cellophane for the box this is really important in making sure that the illusion works so i take a, a very sharp blade and be careful not to cut yourself and i cut around the cherries and all the black section on both sides and just take out that black piece of card next i get an old deck from anywhere and i literally just cut out a big horseshoe shape in it you can cut this out as big as you want and you can take as much time with it as you want but the one thing is that i make sure that this deck isn't glued together because 
you want to give the spectators the freedom to insert their card into anywhere in the deck. So these now go into the box. We go into the box just like this. So now they're in the box just like this, meaning that when I place a card with information there, it'll be see-through. The last two things are, I just take a, a regular card and a cover card from the matching deck of cherries and place that in the top. That's just in case they slide out or you want to do a false thing where you can have the deck out like this and they can see that it's whole as a convincer. The last thing you need to do is when you cut the privacy screen, you're going to cut it to the size that fits a little bit smaller than the deck because you don't want it to flash here. So it's just a little bit smaller than a card. And also you want to make sure that it changes to black when it tilts at this angle. You don't want it to do it this way. Okay. So it's, you want to cut it so that it fits and it'll change at this angle. The last thing you do is you slide this into the box and past here. So look, you can't see that black there, which means you get this beautiful display of being able to show the box all around. And that is it. That's all you need for your Peak device. It's really that simple to make. this is how easy it is to perform you have your peak box i always bring it out with the peak screen facing down because this just gives me a lot more freedom and there's only really a few things to note the cellophane is important because the privacy screen is actually shiny so that stands out as a shiny th object compared to the rest of the cardboard unless the cellophane is over it so that's why the cellophane is important i bring it out face down and i can show the cards in the box they really can place this anywhere they like into the deck that's the beauty of this i now close it up i can show it all around and i make sure that the peak screen is still facing down as i do this because one thing to note is that when this is face up they won't see it but if you turn to the side it'll become see-through right that's the way these peak screens work so i do all the turning face down and then i can turn it over width ways okay so I don't turn it over like this I turn it over this way and the the important performance note is that the closer I am so if we're really 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 close they can stare down and see in but as soon as I take a step back that angle is now just what you need to create it also I'm pointing this up at their eye line so the deck the front of the deck or the front of the box is pointing in line towards their eyes like i'm aiming at their eyes that makes it impossible impossible to see so this is always pointed up at them but if i want it to be a bit more flat with the ground i just take a step back and i can show this all around super fairly super cleanly now the peak happens as i go to place this away so i don't talk about peaks to the spectators because that makes it that makes them understand what peaks are when they shouldn't know what it is uh, so I just say I just say I can't see it. Obviously the box is sealed. That's it. And now this is the privacy screen. All I'm going to do is take it and place it away. And as I'm tilting up, I'm seeing the peak really clearly. And you can make sure it's the right orientation. But I just get a nice big peak as I put it away, and my job is done. One more thing. Hope you all enjoyed that. Hope you all get some great use out of this. And don't just stop there. This concept just goes so much further, but it works beautifully because of Cherry's playing cards, specifically the black deck. I hope you all enjoyed that. Tune back in tomorrow for my favorite ever tutorial Tuesday. Probably the most visual tutorial Tuesday that I'll ever shoot and ever make for you guys. Remember, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to win my very own personal peak device, then all you need to do is share this video link on social media, tag me in it so I know that it's been shared and make sure you're of course subscribed to the channel. We're also running the same contest on Murphy's Magic. So go to the live seven secrets event 
watch the stream and find out the details to win my personal Peak device. I have two of these only and I'm giving them both away completely for free to the competition winners. So that's it, tune back in tomorrow for Tutorial Tuesday. I'm so hyped to share it with you. It's going to blow your mind. Peace.